and welcome to Lavellius Coloring. This will be part one of my coloring book collection. I received several requests for this and I apologize that it took me so long to get this filmed and out to you guys, but I'm so happy to finally share these books that I love so much. I just want to begin that I did start out with just two adult coloring books in the spring of 2015, but since then my collection has grown a lot. I do try to be selective about the books I buy and put on my wish list, and you'll notice as you see um, each of my coloring books, I do have a wide uh, range of um, illustrators and different kinds of drawings and different kinds of themes. I do um, like a lot from different, yeah, uh, <laughs> you'll see that I do have a variety of um, coloring books. So I hope you guys enjoy watching that. Um, I have not colored in all of my coloring books, but it is one of my goals to do so. It may not be this year or next year that I finish coloring a page in each book, but I do know that this is a hobby that I will continually do for many years. Um, about a third of my books were presents from my family and friends. Um, they did shop my Amazon wish list, or they did give me um, gift cards, and I don't know, I don't remember which one it is, because I did, you know, I make lots of lists, for, but for some reason for that, I did not make a list of which books are gifted to me. Um, I may remember um, for some of them, but um, yeah, um, and a lot of a majority of the international books I did purchase myself or uh, my husband got them for me as a present um, after he got a lot of big hints from me. So um, as I go through my books I will try to let you know where I purchased them from and if you would like for me to do a flip through of a book please let me know in the comments below. I hope you will watch till the end of the of this video. I will be making an announcement for something I plan to do after the last video of this um, coloring book series. So now I'll go ahead and begin with my small sized books. The first book I want to share with you guys is called Happy Wonderland, illustrated by Pai. This is a Japanese coloring book. I do want to um, give you guys a tip before I get into this book. Um, uh, Japanese books, uh, for me, it's best to purchase them from Amazon Japan rather than going through Etsy only because um, the price difference when I um, added them to my card and see what the conversion from yen to um, dollars from Amazon Japan to how much it would cost with the shipping and the, the prices of the books from the stores on Etsy. It is a lot cheaper for me to get it from Amazon Japan. I don't know if um, living on the West Coast could be a reason also why the shipping might be um, cheaper, but I do suggest with Japanese books um, to check um, the price difference with um, Etsy and Amazon Japan. But um, I didn't get this book on Amazon Japan. I did get this book um, from a store called Kinokuniya. Uh, this is a bookstore, a Japanese bookstore in Seattle. I rarely go to Seattle, so um, when we did go, this was, I don't know, like three years ago. I haven't been back since then. Um, yeah, uh, I just wanted to see do they carry any um, Japanese coloring books and I happened to find it in a small corner of the um, bookstore and for instant gratification I went ahead and <laughs> bought this book. It was a lot pricier um, compared to Amazon Japan but you know I wanted it at the time so I just went ahead and picked it up. So this book um, comes with a jacket, as all a majority of the Japanese coloring books do, and it follows the journey of um, this girl and her cat, and they fall asleep and then they go on this um, 
like magical journey. So here they are falling asleep, and it's cute. Yeah, and the lines are gray, kind of like a uh, paint's gray. It's not solid black. And this one, there's several pages in here that comes vertical instead of horizontal, and it follows through all the way through the top. So it takes you to different different scenes. There's jungle land. And then in the back, there the pages are thicker, and they are perforated um, because you have these this little paper doll that you can color with outfits for her that you can cut out, and also bookmarks and postcards, many postcards, and then at the end they also have I'm sorry, no cards. A lot of the Japanese books they like to give you extra stuff at the end. So, this is Happy Wonderland, illustrated by Pai. The next book I want to share with you is called Sweets and Dishes. It is illustrated by Eri Nishiwaki. In this book, you'll see lots of food. <laughs> Different kinds of food, desserts, main courses, appetizers. Um, they even have... Um, the kitchens, they have whole meals. So this is like realistic food. They even have um, whimsical. Here's a cake with a little house inside. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. So you can see the lining is. Um, it's like a, a purplish gray. Trying to pour um, like syrup on a flan, I'm thinking. That's what it is. Um, in the back, like the other Japanese book that I showed, it comes with, um, it's not, oops, sorry, it's not perforated, but it's single sided. And then you also have one where you can cut out to put on the plate, color and cut, color and cut out, and then also. Postcards. So there's several postcards in here. Um, some smaller size postcards. Um, and also note cards. Yeah. It's like nice little presents at the end of the book. Or quick colors. So. This is Sweets and Dishes, illustrated by Eri Nishiwaki. Here's another um, Japanese book. It is a postcard book called um, Dream. It is by Chiaki Ida. The name should be familiar to you. Um, Chiaki Ida illustrated also, I think it's called the, My Dream Room. And then another one is um, uh, where she goes through the town and goes to different shops. So this one, in the beginning, it shows your or how to color and what to use, watercolor, pencils, and it gives you colored postcards already. Yeah. But then going in, you see it comes with two postcards to color. That's a lot of postcards that you can color and give away, and then you have one more to keep for yourself, which I like. Yeah, and then in the end, she also gives you little tags and little note cards, and this one big one, big scene to color in. So this is the dream. Coloring Postcard Book by Chiaki Ida. And here's one more small 
um, coloring book. It is a, a postcard coloring book. This is called Dream Color for the Year. It is illustrated by Miki Takei. Or Takai? Takei? <laughs> um, this book comes with a, a little like table in the front showing you. It goes through all of the seasons. So you have spring, then you have summer. Then on this side, you have autumn, and you have winter. And uh, they give you one colored, and then one for you to color. So, yeah. So, uh, each of these images is what I showed in here. And they also show tips on how to color, especially like rabbits. So just coloring it with um, pencils, and then on this side is coloring with uh, watercolor. So I don't think this one has anything at the end. It's just um, the postcards. So many cute illustrations. Oops. Okay, so this is Dream Color for the Year, a postcard coloring book by Miki Takei. The next book, um, I purchased this through um, the book depository. And a little tip with the book depository when you order from there, it is free shipping uh, to the US. I don't know um, if it's everywhere worldwide, but um, you know how um, if you have ordered there, they don't give you a tracking number. But um, if you email them and request one, they will give you one because I had to. I had to do that once because the package never arrived and so they had to remail it to me and I wanted to make sure that the package was um, sent and then when it arrives. So that's just another little tip um, for the book depository. Uh, this is Escape to Wonderland, a coloring book adventure. It is illustrated by Good Wives and Warrior. And the illustration I'm sure a lot of you are um, familiar with this, but if you don't, um, this book follows um, the author Lewis Carroll's book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And it also has um, quotes from the book. Oh, so a lot of interesting <laughs> illustrations. That would look awesome. There's a lot of um, beautiful colorings of this book. You can find it on Instagram. Oh. So this is Escape to Wonderland, illustrated by Good Wives and Warrior. The next book is also by Good Wives and Warriors, also um, purchased through Book Depository. It is called Escape to Oz. It is a coloring book adventure. It follows the story of Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and also includes quotes from that from that book. Really love the illustrations. So this is Escape to Oz by Good Wives and Warriors. And the last of the Good Wives and Warriors books, uh, coloring books, uh, is Escape to Christmas Past. So this one has scenes and characters from, oops, sorry, from Charles Dickens' story, the um, Ebenezer Scrooge, and Marley's Ghost, and a lot of Christmas themed illustrations also. Like this one would be like three French hens, right? <laughs>
pudding. Yeah. So this is Escape to Christmas Past, illustrated by Good Wives and Warriors. This is called Coloriage Wild, illustrated by Emmanuel Cullen. This comes with 14 images times two. So I have two of each image. And these are like little girls with flowers, some of them with birds and frogs. I think I showed that one, right? <laughs> I think I skipped too far. And a little insects in them. Yeah, so these are just portraits of girls with all of those. It's really beautiful. I mean, you can use watercolor, color pencils, and yeah, other mediums. So this is Coloriage Wild by Emmanuel Cullen. I have another one from Emmanuel Cullen called Coloriage Wild 2. And like the um, other book, comes with 14 images, um, so two sets of those 14 images. You can see it's a bit, uh, it's grayscaled and it comes with the same, um, where it's a portrait of the girl and with a rose on her head. This one um, has a headdress on it. Seen a lot of beautiful colorings of this image. And uh, what I noticed um, from uh, the first book compared to this one, it's like the girls grew up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I know, that's just something I noticed. So this one has like a little girl. This girl is a little older. There's a little bird. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Coloriage Wild by Emmanuel Collin. And the last one from Emmanuel Cullen is called Coloriage Wild 3. And it comes with two sets of the 14 images. I forgot to say that, um, I don't know if I did, but uh, I bought these books from Amazon UK. Um, I didn't buy it until last year when all three books were available. So. Yeah, I just really love her drawings, her how she depicts the girls, and then adding the animals and um, insects, flowers. And so, I don't know if you noticed it. Yeah, the the girls grew older. To me, it did. <laughs> so this one's cute. A little owl. Oh, this, it's a ferret, right? Yeah, you can see her face. It's like she has a little attitude. She don't care that there's bees around. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is Coloriage Wild 3 by Emmanuel Collin. The next uh, six books are by Rita Berman. She's a German uh, illustrator. I purchased all her books through the book depository. Um, this book, I won't even try to say it because I know I'll just butcher the title in German, but um, I translated it as My Winter Walk. So I'll try not to show the pictures I've done because I already did a video on all my completed uh, Pages, so I'll just kind of skip through to show you the winter scenes. Another scene of like a little village. 
knitting with a cat. Yeah, so this is all um, winter scenes. And this is by Rita Berman. The next one is my spring walk. And you'll find lots of beautiful flowers, birds, Easter eggs. Animals that come out at spring. Okay, so that's my spring walk by Rita Berman. The next one is my summer walk. So you see flowers and bugs that you'd see in during the summer. You can see the ocean. One going to the beach, garden. So cute. See a little cat. And tea. It's a little beach scene. Yeah. So this is my summer walk. The next one is my autumn walk. And I like the apples falling. Here's a huge scene of a field. Corn. I don't know, this looks incomplete to me. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks a little incomplete. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. But, oh, here's a nice one with kites. Yeah. So this is my autumn walk. The next one by Rita Berman is uh, this one. I translated it as land under the microscope, but uh, this looks like a magnifying glass. So yeah, land under the magnifying glass. So you'll see uh, she tried to put every kind of animals and insects that you'd find on land. I'm seeing a lot of images that I can use for Claralongs for this March. Oh, this is so cute with the little houses on top. A little wreath. Arctic bear. An elephant. Yeah. So this is land under the microscope. The last one by Rita Berman is called, um, I translate it as The Underwater World Under the Microscope. So you'll find every kind of animal you'd find under the sea, plus humans in a little submarine. That's beautiful. I love this page. So this is the last of Rita Berman's book that I have. Called, this one's called The Underwater World Under the Microscope. The next one is Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, and Fantasy Pocket Size Coloring Book, illustrated by Hannah Lynn. I have this size only. I didn't buy the bigger size of the same. Um, I like that it's... Um, in this pocket size so I can take it with me um, when we travel during the summer. Oops. So, show you the images I didn't color in yet. So, I'm sure a lot of you either have this book or have seen this book already. Hanolin has several 
books. And so, such cute images. Right. So this is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. The other pocket size um, coloring book by Hannah Lynn I have is called Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls, Mermaids and More to Color. Sorry for the glare. So you have both landscape. Is it um, Witch of the North from Wizard of Oz? Yeah, she has a lot of uh, Wizard of Oz characters in this book. Sorry, like going out of frame. So, uh, yeah, really simple pictures to color fast and uh, so sweet and simple. Whimsy Girls by Hannah Lynn. The next pocket size um, coloring book I have is by Selena Fennick. Uh, it's called Fedorables Mini. It has illustrations from both of her Fedorables um, coloring book, uh, the bigger size, the sweet and simple coloring book, and also the cute and creepy. And I love how in the bottom of the illustration has the name of name of the image yeah. so that's Fedorables mini illustrated by Selena Fennec the next one is portrait of the mermaid it is another pocket coloring book by Sarah Burier it is a little bit bigger than um, like the Fedorables and the Hannah Lynn's. And not as much images, I believe there's only 20. But still, it's a lot of beautiful images. This is a pregnant one. And in the back of each of the mermaids, you have like a little mandala-like background. So this is Portrait of the Mermaid by Sarah Bury. Another um, pocket size that's a little bit bigger is by is the Mini Inklings illustrated by Tanya Bond. And in this book you have a lot of portraits of girls with fantasy theme fantasy um, scenes. Some with animals, some with insects. Some is a ninja, fire. This one also has the title of the image in the bottom. I was thinking of doing this picture for um, Isabel, a passionista colorista. She has a, a YouTube and um, Instagram where she's doing the, I think it's called Bunny March, Bunny's March. Um, color along. So I have uh, several tagged in here. So there's another one with a bunny. Yeah, so this is Mini Inklings by Tanya Bond. Okay, the next one is from The Art of Coloring, The Journey to Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Um, it's a keepsake coloring book. It is illustrated by Katie Cook. It has a lot of cute um, images from uh, the Star Wars um, entire saga, also The Last Jedi. And they are one-sided, have really nice, nice um, like cardstock paper. Cute little, <laughs> cute, cute little uh, illustrations. Um, my son has um, a book by the same illustrator stars that's so cute yeah yeah so you can use uh, markers on this for my watercolors ink tents and you don't have to worry about the page in the back 
So this is Art of Coloring Star Wars, illustrated by Katie Cook. Next one is another Star Wars themed um, coloring book. This one's called Darth Vader and Family. It is illustrated by Jeffrey Brown. And it has scenes from um, uh, Star Wars, but it has like humor in it where Princess Leia and Luke are like little kids and then, you know, their dad, Darth Vader. So, the Ewoks. And these are also one-sided. It feels like the same kind of paper as the other Star Wars coloring book. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Darth Vader and Family Coloring Book illustrated by Jeffrey Brown. This one is Miss Swa Shades of Kawaii, a cute coloring book. I remember my, my sister-in-law got me this. Um, it was the same year that um, I started coloring, so back in 2015. Yeah. On one-sided pages, on create space paper, so. But um, these are fun to color with the um, markers and then you can leave it as it is, or you can add pencils on top of it. So this is Miss Wa Shades of Kawaii, a cute coloring book. Okay, so the next year, my sister-in-law also got me volume two of Miss Wa Shades of Kawaii. And, um, kind of the same thing as the other one, but um, it fills up more of the space. Yeah. But I think um, Sammy from Color and Chat with Sammy colored some images in here also. It might have been this one or it might have been like either, there's one more volume, there's volume three also. so. Yeah, so this is volume two of Miss Wa's Shades of Kawaii. The next book I got is um, Secret Village, illustrated by Sarah Janice Brown. Um, I remember being unable to purchase this book um, because of a YouTube um, tutorial of a sort where they were using different ink tents to color the images inside. And you can see it's like really small details, but um, they're one-sided. So, I mean, you can go in with pens and just color it in. This one is like a zoomed up picture <laughs> of one of the homes. There's another one. Yeah. So this is Secret Village, illustrated by Sarah Janice Brown. So the next book, um, I remember my cousin gifted this to me. I don't remember what it was for. It was, might have been like a Mother's Day or her birthday, <laughs> but um, this is the Tokidoki coloring book. Tokidoki means sometimes, I believe, in Japanese. The creator and illustrator of Tokidoki is Simone Legno. He's an Italian artist. Um, I used to have his bags um, from the sports sack and he would have like different um, themes whenever he pushed one out through um, that brand but yeah, I still have some of his bag but I don't use it as much now so lots of cute images from Tokidoki coloring book next book is called Balance, Angie's Extreme Stress Menders, Volume 1 by Angie Grace. This is um, one of the first books I bought when I started uh, adult coloring. And I used to get so frustrated um, coloring this where I would start a mandala and then accidentally color the wrong section. So for me, it, it just like, ah, oh, the whole thing is, <laughs> is done. But... Um, 
recently I just getting back to um, mandalas so I might, came, I might come back to coloring this book too yeah and I think Angie Grace has like several volumes but I'm good with just this one so this is Balance by Angie Grace Okay, so the next one is A Million Christmas Cats by, illustrated by John Bigwood. I believe I got this as um, a Secret Santa um, gift a couple of years ago. And, yeah, so just um, Christmas scenes with cats. Cute cats, cute scenes. Yeah. So this is A Million Christmas Cats by John Bigwood. The next few books were are from Lulu Mail and they were all um, a secret Santa gift. Um, so uh, this is A Million Cats. The slightly different um, kinds of cats from John Bigwood. Like squash or eggplant? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, lots of cute images in here. I keep opening the page with the squash. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, so that's a million cats by Lulu Mayo. The next one is a million dogs. So I like how in this one you can. Uh, see like the different kinds of dogs. We have the Chow Chows, French Bulldogs, and other ones. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's cute. Um, Dutch Hounds. Um, mushrooms with dogs on it. So cute. You can see his, his lips are just like they're flapping. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So this is A Million Dogs by Lula Mia. The next one is A Million Bears. So this one has um, panda bears, polar bears, and I don't know what kind of bears these are with the little thingy around their face. I mean, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. They also have a little rabbit up there. Yeah, these books are really, really cute. Yeah, see, I don't know what these kinds of bears are. Okay, so that's A Million Bears by Lula Mayo. And the last one from Lula Mayo is A Million Owls. And I believe um, she's coming out with two more books. I think one of them is Sloth, but then I don't remember what the next one is. Here, I have a little rabbit. Oops, sorry. Rabbit again. The squirrels with the owls. More rabbits with the owls. And here you have panda bears too. So cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> too much cuteness. So um, this is A Million Owls by Lulu Mayo. The next one I have is Disney The Dreams Collection um, coloring book with original art by Thomas Kincaid. And this book really intimidates me. I uh, know. Um, I want to jump in there and get started, but knowing how I color, it'll take forever, and I won't be able to color anything else because I want to like um, work on details and stuff. Like I'll be, I know I'll want to try to color the tree the same way, and but um, I'm trying to work it out in my mind where it's like it doesn't have to be the exact same as 
um, the way Thomas Kincaid colored it or um, painted the picture. I can make it my own. So I just have to get over that. Plus, I still have I have like a a list of coloring books I'm still trying to color. So I'll eventually get to this one. But I love how they transferred it into line art so you can color the little scenes from the movies. Okay, so that's the Disney Dreams Collection Original Art by Thomas Kincaid Coloring Book. Next one is a posh coloring book, Peanuts for Inspiration and Relaxation by Charles M. Schultz. This was a present from my cousin. I remember when she got this for me and um, I tried to tried to figure out what kinds of uh, mediums would work here. I tried gel pens, uh, zigger taki, um, some other markers, but you know you can see that it ghosted through easily. So I just used like uh, pencils because they're double-sided, but they're uh, thin, but it's really uh, detailed images. But I love the peanuts, so. And they have um, different, um, like they have one for seasons, one for uh, just like different, uh, different holidays, different uh, like skateboards. Um, I wonder if they have um, St. Patrick's in here. Oh, I can look later. <laughs> so this is um, Posh Coloring Book, Peanuts, by Charles M. Schultz. The next one is a coloring calendar by Grazia Salvo. You might re remember this from a coloring haul I did a couple months ago. I'll go ahead. She has a lot of beautiful images in here. Oops. Here's another one. Yeah. So it comes with 12 images plus this one in the front, so 13. So this is a 2019 coloring calendar by Grazia Salvo. The next book is, um, I happened to find this on uh, Amazon.com. I was just looking up what kinds of uh, Alice in Wonderland coloring books they have, and this came up and I was surprised. It was, uh, I think I got it for like $4.99, and it was really cute. Um, they're one-sided images, and it's loosely based on um, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, so... I think they have um, one big page here. It's really cute. What does it say in the back? Um, it is illustrated by Mosoko Miyatsuki. Comes with 16 original light drawings, line drawings. So this is Alice in Matcha Land, illustrated by Mosoko Miyatsuki. So the last book I want to share with you for part one of my coloring book collection is Make Your Own Christmas Cards by David Antrim. I did color one card here that I didn't finish and wasn't able to send off, which is this one. I am a slow colorist, so I like to take my time with it. My son did um, use a couple of the cards to give to his teacher. Uh, this book is like that one other one where you color and um, color the cards and the envelopes that they have, like in the back here. Here. Um, it also comes with stickers at the end. Yeah. But for me, if I do this, I have to start early. I probably have to start like in the summer um, just so I can get it done. <laughs> But um, this is Make Your Own Christmas Cards by David Antram. 
So I want to thank you all so much for watching part one of my coloring book collection. I hope you all enjoyed um, watching. Um, uh, uh, I want to also let you know that in the beginning of the video I said that I had an announcement and I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. Um, the announcement is that I will be doing my first giveaway. Um, the item that I'll be giving away will be revealed at the end of my final um, my final video of my coloring book collection series. I am not going to put the word giveaway on the title of my videos only because I'm doing this giveaway for my subscribers, for the people who watch my videos. And this is just a little something that I want to do to get back to you guys, um, to show you how much I really appreciate all the support you've given, all the encouragement, um, just by watching, by liking, by giving me comments. Um, yeah, so um, I did check to see where the majority of my viewers are from, and since half are stateside and the other is international, my husband so kindly offered to ship international. So this is just um, something for you guys to look forward to. Um, my giveaway is just one item uh, since I'll be shipping international, um, so I hope that's okay. Um, but regardless, I am happy that I get to do this to thank you all. The details um, to enter my giveaway will be on the final collection video. So I hope you guys look out for that. Um, please share it uh, with anyone who you think might be interested in this giveaway. Um, before I go, please um, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Take care and happy colorings. Bye-bye.